when you look at awakenings, you got to go back to the greatest awakening ever. And that's the, the ministry and the work of Jesus Christ. And uh, so so when when he came on the scene, whoo, man, he definitely uh, woke people up. He transformed, you know, this planet's still been doing it by his spirit for the last 2000 years. But one thing that I noticed, uh, Ken, and I, I'm sure your audience is thinking, uh, duh, Captain Obvious, was that there's this weird little critter that was inextricably spot welded uh, to the ministry, the person work of Jesus Christ. And that's John the Baptist. And uh, I'm sure, you know, one of your viewers right now is like, and well, and this, this guy was an obtuse character with a terse message of Turner Burn. He pointed out sin in the congregation that was coming to him. He lambasted all the major Christian influencers on Instagram. If you're a politician and uh, you're full of more crap than a colicky baby's diaper, then he's going to let you have it right in front of everybody. And he was an equal opportunity offender. His message, uh, again, was repentance, do a 180, uh, turn or burn. And, uh, and this is the thing that, you know, the, the subtitle of the book points out. It's like, if you really want Jesus in your life, if you want Jesus in your family, if you want Jesus in your church uh, state, or culture, then you need then you need to brace yourself for the message of repentance. You need to brace yourself uh, for a rude awakening because Jesus is not just going to float into your trailer house just because uh, you want him to give you an upgrade and be living your best life. Now he wants somebody who's broken. He wants somebody who's repentant. He wants somebody who's shedding off their body of death. He wants somebody like Isaiah who says, "Woe is me, I'm ruined." And Ken, I don't, I don't hear any of that stuff going around much anymore. It's always, it's all, you've got a great purpose. You're living below your potential. Uh, you know what? When, when, uh, when Christ met Paul and when any of the Old Testament prophets uh, had a toe-to-toe -to -toe with God in a theophany or even a, an angel, they felt like dead men. And uh, I'm looking for the, the awakening. I'm looking for the revival, Ken that has the, you know, no filter repentance message where people just break and they come to Christ wholeheartedly and they're not looking for a Cadillac or a condo down in Fort Lauderdale. They're not looking for a, a girlfriend that looks like, you know, Heidi Klum and has the heart of Mother Teresa. They just want God and they're just shattered.